any significantly advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic so when you have some high tech happening people look at it in awe so if we see a ufo coming in and an alien coming in it's not magic it's pretty high technology they have crossed the border you know of that technology for us it's magic i am basically an engineer right from my young age i've always been tinkering uh, making electric guitars while i was in school I started refining that where uh, we slowly went into requirements for customers i started designing networks and we did the surveillance for most of the larsen and tobro companies most of the roots companies i specialized in wireless connectivity wireless last miles connectivity in remote locations where people say you can't do anything i would go and get the connectivity up at this point we went into artificial intelligence to remove the human element i started using ai to do my work on identifying elephants typical scenario is you can see the elephants coming and this block blocking the elephants and the count has gone up to 2 another elephant is coming and now it will block yes and the count has gone up to 3 we can place these cameras in the forest if a deer or a buffalo or a jeep or a lorry goes past it won't recognize but if an elephant comes it will recognize and tell the location where the elephant is coming so forest department can send anti poaching watchers to apprehend them and move them away we did this also with thermal cameras we did something with uh, remote data collection for uh, camera traps the camera trap data can be pulled out from 100 kilometers away and on site ai analysis to show whether it's an elephant there so literally every camera trap becomes an eye in the forest this is one of my favorite products where we have a buried cable stretched across the forest edge so as the elephant moves from the forest anywhere within 10 meters of the cable it is sensitive right now we have made it uh, uh, recognize the signature of elephants we are also working on leopard and tiger and typically you can see this at a demo at pana the cable is buried here and as the elephant crosses you will hear the sound yes so now this has been productized god willing we will be having our first installation of this shortly we use drones for data collection for petroling thermal petroling these are all drones which i made myself and of course with the help of my son so <laughs> and this is our famous chinnathambi and uh, vinayagar we used to send the drone and tell the forest department where the elephants uh, are at any particular evening here you can see three elephants typical scenario where i'm using my various technology and i'm calling this a smart forest artificial intelligence and this is where between madukarai and valayar we have installed the early warning system for the railways and these are the detectors so any elephant crossing here this area uh, sms will go directly to the control room in palghat and they themselves will tell the local divers that this is coming so i am devising early warning systems which will detect elephants as they move from the forest they are bound to move the moment you put maize they will move you put bananas don't put bananas our people you can you can put manjal you can put so many other things but they won't listen they put sugar cane and they'll put uh, maize it will come but again they have their limitations in terms of cash crops and we can't blame them because most of them have a small little holding and that is what is going to give them their uh, livelihood we have a person here who's been trying to raise coconuts for quite a while but by the time the coconut tree comes to a certain height the elephant comes in beautifully pulls out takes out the pith alone eats it and goes so he's grumbling all the time but what can you do 